Hi there, that's Kevin over here, and I have welcome you all to the new episode of Hack Announce. And guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a version two of running ng rock on multiple ports. So, guys, if you remember in the previous video, I have shown you how you can run ng rock on multiple ports. So, for that, what I have used, uh, what I have used, we have installed the WSL machine of Ubuntu in our system, and one ng rock was running on Windows 10. But that method is a bit hectic, and why it is hectic, guys? You need to install the WSL again and again if you want to run another port. Then you need to install another WSL either for Kali Linux or Linux Mint or any other version. So it is going to consume a lot of memory in your system, and as well, it is bit hectic to configure it. But guys, this is a version two in which which is more optimized, in which I am going to show you how you can run two ports on a single ng rock, and with the WSL you can run. Four ports in a single system. So over here on my screen, you can see here is one server which is running on port three thousand. This server is running on four thousand, and this is on five thousand. This is on eight thousand. So, so these servers are just a, a normal uh, express server which I have run from VS Code, and these others are running from different different ports. Now, if you can see, like over here, this is a normal ng rock. So if I want to run the ng rock on Single port. Then what I need to do? ngrock.exe. That is HTTP, and I'll type the port number. That is any port number I'll type. I'll type the three thousand. So it is going to serve my server one on port three thousand. And everybody knows that this is not a big deal. Now, but now let's see how we can run multiple ports. So first, let's see on Windows. So you can see this is just a normal exe single executable ngrock file. Now what you need to do, guys? You need to navigate to your C drive. And in C drive, you need to navigate to your users. And in users, navigate to the username, in which you will find a folder that is named ng rock 2 or ng rock. Click on that folder where you will find the ng rock YAML file. So you need to open this file, and in this file you will see this is the configured auth token which you configured by adding using the command for adding auth token. So let's suppose from this ng rock only I want to run four ports. So what I will do? I need to type this. Um, I need to type these YAML syntax that is. Name tunnels in the tunnels will be having a first address and the type of port. Which is a TCP. You need to type TCP. So let me show. So I'll configure this as a for port four thousand, and I'll do copy this and paste it in my ng rock dot html in in next line after the auth token. So as I pasted this, now what I need to do? I'll just type the command ng rock and I'll type start and I'll type, use the flag all and You can see, guys, that's bam. Now our server ng rock is running on two ports. One is on three thousand, and one is on four thousand. So let's see uh, if they are running or not. So if I'll copy this, and I'll paste it uh, in place of three thousand because this is running in place of three thousand. So it is showing me the same. The word hello world on three thousand. The same if I'll copy on four thousand. So this is a uh, this is a for four thousand. I'll copy. I'll paste it over there on place of four thousand, and that's bam, guys. It is also running on four thousand. So using this in a single machine, you will be able to run two ports on one ng rock for free of cost. And guys, don't try to add more ports because if you will be adding, then it is going to ask you for pricing. Now using this, uh, you can say like this is only you are able to run two ports. Now what you can do, you need to refer to my previous tutorial, which where I have shown. to configure the wsl and using wsl you can run on multiple ports so for wsl also let's see what you need to do you need to navigate to the directory this directory where this is your home in home you need to go to the 2 ng doc to the like uh, it's a hidden hidden folder the same in windows so now over here also you will find this ng rock dot yaml and if you don't know how to navigate to this path you need to type cd and then type tilde and after that in tilde you need to type dot ng rock2 i'm sure you will get the path over here and this as always you will get the ng rock dot yaml file like windows and over here type the ng rock dot yaml so now as i copy this from this notepad and try to paste it on ng rock and so i'll go to the next line so this is a nano which i have opened and I'll, i i i don't prefer to use vim because when you copy the syntax to vim then it changes the formatting a lot so better better to use uh, nano over here and control y that's it. now if, over here if i'll try the same command that is ng rock so i'll go to the 
now cd and over here i'll type the ngrock and i'll type the command same command that ngrock start with the flag all so now you can see it is should run the run two ngrock connections tunnels one is on 6000 one is on 5000 so same i will show for them i'll copy this and i'll paste it over in place of 5000 so it is going to show me the 5000 port only that's spam and now let's see the same for 6000 so yeah now it is going to i think it was on 8000 it is not on 6000 so it might not work it should not work let's see and guys see it is not working so i need to change the port again in my ngrog.yaml file and it is going to work like charm so guys i hope now you're able to understand how we can run multiple ports of ngrog without installing wsl so over here on windows ngrog we are able to run two ports so if you want more ports like if you want four or five ports or six ports then what you need to do you can run two uh, ports on one single wsl so you need to install multiple wsl and for installing wsl you can watch my previous video the link is in the description so yeah that's it for this video if you like please don't forget to like subscribe and comment and if you are facing any issue then please uh, just comment out in the comment section and that's it bye bye and have a nice day